The human brain has evolved to think abstractly. It has evolved to have the ability to ponder over what is beautiful and what is not. Why? How does this give us the competitive edge over the cold, instinctual world of nature? We'll be discussing this as we feature our coffee of the week. The abstract cave paintings of France, which have been created when our flight or fight nervous system was needed. We needed that extra burst of energy when a cave bear was about to chomp down on our leg. Speaking of needing a extra burst of energy, our coffee of the week, Tassimo's Americano, a smooth dark roast coffee shaped by the perfect balance of rich cup noir espresso and water. Tassimo is the home brewing system that uses the barcode system to reach, to read each encoded tea disc, customizing the temperature, brew time, and water quantity of each beverage to guarantee the perfect cup every time. This is the neocortex, the newly part of the brain that is recently evolved. It's where we do our abstract thinking. It's where we think about thinking or thinking about beauty. Now, the thing about these these little discs is that I, you just you just have to make more than one. You can't just always just have one. You always have to make more. This is delicious coffee. You know, about beauty and our technology, they come from the same area of our brain, the neocortex. So that's probably where our the secret of our success lies. You know, if we think back on the early, early people, well, let's go back to Adam and Eve, um, where now apparently there's this, this story or, or theory about Cain uh, actually not being the son of Adam, but being the son of Satan or Lucifer, who was actually a scientist. Now, Lucifer is basically known as the morning star. Now, we discussed this already, so let's just move ahead. We're going to move ahead about 100 years. We're actually, 100 years, that would be in light years, but I'm talking about earth years. No, a thousand earth years. No, more like maybe three to four thousand earth years, which is like in biblical years, a hundred years. I mean, what exactly is Jennifer Lawrence actually telling us in the movie Mother? I think it's clear. It's it's extremely clear. It's I don't know. I I don't know. I don't. 
but I do know. Well, you see, the reason why most of us don't know. <clears throat> now, you think about this. Think about it for a second now. If I don't know, it's only because my father, he didn't know. So he passed down his not knowing over to me. And of course, now because he didn't know, I didn't know. So I'm not to blame. He didn't know. And of course, none of the others knew. Only a certain people knew. And they passed down their knowledge over to what they knew or on the other side. But not on this side. On this side, we didn't know. But now we know. And that that's the important Do you smell that? Can you smell that? In closing, to sum up, <clears throat> now we agree that the neocortex could not have evolved on its own. We were doing fine as a human species for a millennia, but something had to develop this abstract thinking. So, going back to the Bible, Cain and Abel came up, of course, was born of Lucifer, Morning Star, but not human, not reptilian, but octopus. That's right. All octopus, or I believe that they are called mollusks, they have shedded their shells. They're not even from this planet. And I think that we can we we really understand this we really know this now and it's been proven scientifically in absolute terms that it's the mollusks that are actually controlling the entire world and the evolution of human beings now and we've seen the evidence we've seen the evidence because the octopus the cuttlefish they are they have this amazing ability to change and and to to create new textures so of course that's the men in black the men in black of course right although these walking talking mollusks among us they can't replicate hair beards you know we know the we're humans because we have hair it's the ones that can't replicate hair they they are the non-humans it makes perfect sense and it's what 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 are they always saying that we know less we know more about space than we do with the, our own oceans why aren't we exploring our oceans because that's where So, every time, every time that there's this, we, 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 we know that there's a sight or, or, or a seeing of something, the octopus put on their men in black uniforms, come out and intimidate us. They, they don't want to be found out. And it's because of the frogs, and we know that. We've discussed why, and it's in Leviticus, in, it's in Revelations. The, f the frogs and the plagues, and nobody ever suspected the octopus. It's in H.P. Lovecraft, you know? It's in our psyche. That's why it's all there, all the tentacles. Look at the tentacle porn. The tentacle porn is saying exactly just that. It's not, it's real. 
These are actual real. They, they, they made it with human beings. Become hybrids. It's the story of Adam and Eve. They were, they were, they've been interbreeding with human beings since the beginning. It's all right there. There's no big mystery. Tentacle porn. It's tentacle porn. Tentacle porn, people! <laughs>